between the two guys, Trey Murphy and Sam Hauser, your two newest toys, so to speak? Yeah, no, they, they played well. They've showed that in practice. And, um, you know, we found out last night or la right before our practice that Trey um, received his waiver to play. So we were so thankful for that and excited. And, um, you know, Sam's been patient and sat out last year and made the most of his redshirt year. And um, his maturity showed on the floor. And obviously we shot the ball well and, and did some good things. But great having him. You could see our depth. And, um, and it was, um, you know, a nice – Outing. I was, I was so happy. I always is a. This is my 12th year at Virginia, and, and whenever you see guys that are first time they're wearing the Virginia uniform and they get to play in a in a game, um, that's really special. So I, I appreciate that, no matter if it's a walk on or anybody. So I really enjoyed that part of it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, still going. Yeah, I think we have versatility, as you can see, and we can go a lot of different ways. But, um, you know, first, Justin is very competitive and he plays real hard and he's practiced well. He's improved, very good offensive rebounder, um, plays continuous. And, you know, again, I just liked um, that bigger, more physical lineup, I think, to start. And so he um, could have gone a number of ways, but I liked what he has brought and, again, has had a good fall and early, um, early part of the preseason. You're still on mute, Patrick. I can see the screen. I can answer it if he doesn't ask it, or do we need his voice to? I can read. Right, so the question was, can you talk about yep. three-point shooting? What does it mean when all five guys, plus included, can hit? Yeah, when we have, you know, at times five guys on the floor that can stretch it, it opens up the court. Hopefully, gives us some driving opportunities. You know, and, um, and Jay, you've seen him progress over the years. He certainly can stretch it. And um, he can drive and, and just, um, you know, again, it was nice to see. It doesn't always happen like that. But um, five guys open the floor, and we've been working hard on our guys. Always work hard. Everybody likes to shoot the three. But as long as the ball moves and it's a good time shot, we'll take it. So that is a, a strength at times of ours for sure. Hey, Tony. Hey, Jeff. How, what, what have these past few months been like just to get to this point to actually play a game? And, you know, even at the 11th hour last night, you got thrown a curveball with changing opponents. Uh, how big a challenge has it been for you and the staff? Yeah. This pandemic? I think, Jeff, we just, I, I tell our guys all the time, just um, remain grateful and thankful that. You know, it's beating the alternative. Yeah, the fans weren't there. Yes, we've had a for a while practice with masks on, and and they're you know they haven't been able to have the the interaction and the contact as normal. But but a blessing to be able to practice, to be there, and um, and then start this journey. So that's sort of the attitude, and just be as good as we can with what's given to us. And I think our guys have embraced that. And again, when you have experience like Sam and you know Trey, they're on my side here. Um, being in his third year, and then obviously Kihei and Jay, you rely on that experience, and you expect some professionalism and a workman-like mentality. And I think that's what we've done. Um, tried to celebrate the things together that we can, and um, again, just prepare. And we're, we were very hopeful for this day, and, and we'll remain hopeful that these days will continue. I just miss not seeing you, Jeff. That's the big thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Coach, what's the, uh, the benefit of being able to play so many guys today? I guess how much do you learn about the rotation uh, moving forward from today's game? Um, it's a good screenshot picture you got up there, Bennett, so that's good. <laughs> it's the first one. You're the only one who's had one. The other people got to step it up. But um, no, I think, you know, 
we, as I mentioned, we have depth. Uh, our depth, I talked to the guys, you know, before or last night, our depth can really be good. And I think in practice, it's made it competitive. And we've got to keep figuring things out different times at different times, different guys at different times. So we, we can't let our depth become a distraction because, you know, I, it's the, the hardest thing for me in coaching, I've said it often, is not being able to play guys because they work so hard and they want to play. But um, opportunities will present themselves. But to play all those different matchups today and rotations was really good. So again, thankful that the guys got in that, you know, some of our, our we call them our green gang, the, the walk-ons that just work so hard and help prepare us. But again, you take a look at things and we'll have a, a real good quality opponent on Friday with San Francisco <laughs> if, it, if it plays out that way. Tony, did, did you practice all along under the assumption that Trey would receive his waiver? And what were your impressions of him throughout the preseason? Yeah, you know, we didn't know. We were hopeful. I mean, a lot of waivers are going through, and it just is a year. But the way we practiced this year, you know, we didn't even really have a starting five. Probably this last week, you know, I was looking at different combinations. Um, and. We just always practice, had good depth in practice, and, and you know, again, real competitive, really, one through 13. There's some, some really good action going on that way. So we, we didn't think of it like, well, who are we going to have, who we aren't, aren't we going to have? Um, but as it got closer, I really want to give a big shout out to Eric Baumgartner and Ronnie Weidman and, and the compliance staff at UVA, those who worked hard on Trey's waiver and the people involved. I'm sure I'm missing some, but that matters. I mean, you have to do your job well. And it was a, you know, I think a, a good case, and I'm so glad that he he gets to play. I mean, you you saw his strengths. He's looked good in practice. He's continued to adjust um, and understand. That wasn't the impression coming here that he was going to play right away. It was going to be a redshirt year. That was actually part of the deal. Um, but then he came to me and said, I, I I think I'd like to if I can. And um, when we talked about that for some other reasons, um, why the waiver went, but. Um, again, he'll keep learning and growing. And again, you, you, you can appreciate it if you see it in person, there's some length and size that we can put out there. And um, so he's done a good job. <clears throat> Sorry about that, Coach. It's okay. Um, can I just ask you about the oddness of, of, of the event with the fans, with the piped in? With the piped in uh, crowd noise, uh, everything else that, that's gone on, you know, losing a, an opponent at the last last minute, having to yeah. prepare for somebody else, um, you know, how do you how do you deal with that going forward this season? And have you told your team that this is kind of just the new normal? Yeah. I offered my playlist um, for the crowd noise. You know, they didn't want any Leon Bridges or Kevin Garrett, but we'll. Um, but that we've practiced with a little bit of crowd noise. Um, you know, we didn't get to scrimmage this year, so it was new, but. This is kind of, as I said, you're just grateful for the chance to play. And there were some people in the gym. Um, and I think, you know, the game is the game. You step between the lines and, and the fans are great. And of course, there's things you miss. But um, there's just something about competition when the scoreboard's on, the officials are out there that you appreciate. So, but yeah, obviously not knowing who we had, who we're going to play, it might be a like that a little bit this year. And you just have to be ready. And that's why um, we don't try to. My wife said, she goes, you know, I don't think there's a plan anymore. Everything's an idea and you just sort of go with it. And that's, that's what we're doing. <laughs>